If you've done any multicolour printing, then you'll be familiar with the problem of poop. But what if I told you there was a way to minimise that and possibly get rid of it altogether? It's called flush to object. Have a look. So here we've got a nice multicoloured model. If we slice that as it is, we'll see that we're going to use 20 grams of filament on the model itself with the two colours. But we're actually going to waste 3.69 grams in flushing. So when it goes for a poop, that's going to pop out your tunnel. Right, if we now just make a copy of that model and then in here, in the model, doesn't matter, pick one, we see flush into this object and again we say flush into objects infill slice again and this time we're going to waste virtually no filament whatsoever obviously we're going to use more because we're printing it twice but we're, going to, we're not going to waste any the one you flush into the colors may not be perfect because it's just going to spit out what it's getting rid of but nevertheless if it's a fidget item that's probably not going to matter too much so the one thing to keep in mind is this works well when the model is using more filament than it's flushing. So if you have a poorly designed model, something like this, where the model itself is about 10 grams, but we're flushing 32 and seven with the tower, gives us a total of 49. Add another one in, set that as the flush object, slice again. But we're still gonna waste 23 grams of filaments because the model itself is only, call it 10 grams, and so we don't have enough extra model to flush into. If you go for another two, we're actually gonna end up with four and we're still spending approximately 50 grams. But that is just one thing to keep in mind when using flush to objects to make sure that you are actually getting the most out of the flushing. And that's how you use flush to objects to reduce or minimize your poop and get free 3D printing, sort of. Nice. Get three, free, free, three, it's easy for me to say.